The coach was longer than Annie and Clarabel. She was older too, and had been kept at the back of the shed for a long time. She was still being clean when they arrived, and was indignant about working on a branch line. This is no life for me, Coach murmured, as she was placed behind Clarabel. I belong on the main line, and I was built for it after all. So were we, my dear. Some of our sisters still run there now, said Annie. You'll soon get used to our simpler way of life, Clarabel smiled. But the coach didn't want to get used to it. We'll see, she muttered. She began to think of a plan to get onto the main line again. They arrived at the station and the passengers got in. They were amused by the coach, but not impressed, and headed for the familiar seats of Annie and Clarabel. Coach was insulted. But, but, I'm first class. Huh. I suppose at least these people know their place. It was lucky that nobody heard her. Do come along, do come along, Thomas huffed. We're coming along, we're coming along, chanted Annie and Clarabel. Coach didn't sing along. She was silent as they travelled up the line, scheming to herself all the while. 